Hi guys, what's happening? <clears throat> and this will be the little quick tour of a dicot stem, in this case a tree trunk. Alright, so tree trunk, outer covering is bark. Dead epidermal cells, much like our skin. Point is protection, protection, and protection. Now just inside the bark, there will be a layer of what is called vascular cambium. The outside part of that vascular cambium gives rise to new phloem. The inside part of it gives rise to xylem. That's why back in the day when people wanted to kill off trees, they would girdle them. In other words, come through and scrape off the bark for about a, two feet all the way around the tree. And the tree couldn't carry any nutrients and the tree would die and cure so it could be used right away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so back when we did the dendrochronology lab, there were a lot of questions about why are there different colors in the tree ring. And what the colors arise from is the time of year that the xylem is produced. The <clears throat> Darker colored bands in the tree trunks are the xylem that is formed in the summer. The lighter colored bands are the xylem that is formed in the winter. Back up, in the spring. So did I say that backwards? Yep. So this would be spring xylem in here. This would be uh, summer xylem. Spring xylem, summer. Spring, summer. All right, now the cortex and the pericycle with this guy are all compressed very closely with the can vascular cambium. And in this particular specimen, because it's old as the hills, you won't be able to see it. Um, so one thing that you're going to need to work on reading with this is how the nutrients move from the leaves to the roots and then back to the roots in the spring, being back, excuse me, from the roots back up to the parts of the different parts of the plant in the springtime so we can start growing again. Uh, source, sink, pressure flow hypothesis, etc. etc. The other thing you're going to need to look at is how the water movement occurs using transpiration and the adhesion cohesion theory of uh, water movement in plants. Okay, that's about it for this one. Thank y'all.